We are back. What? Big as the what? No, I'm just kidding. Um, but seriously, dude, I can't even tell you the last time I recorded it. I, I haven't recorded a video in so long. I'm hitting the desk, bro. That's how bad it is, dude. It's, it's been such a good minute. But I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm at the crib. Mother's crib recording this video. So the acoustics are not going to be as you would normally expect. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, the MacBook mic and the decor in the background i think we last left off with um sasuke being revealed to be in the catacombs um gussied up by the divine tree of a uh, juby fame and um a lot of questions obviously not a lot of answers so far but we're still early i think i threw out a prediction as being like a 100 chapter type manga I could see at least 50 would be about four years. So at least 50. 100 may be crazy. Like, but 50 I could see easy. Like another four years of this to get to some kind of reasonable, not drawn out, but not too skimpy of a conclusion. I think four years is kind of how I see this going. So we may not get a full answer to kind of what happened with respect to uh, Sasuke's training with Boruto for a while, but 2024, we're expecting uh, some good stuff from Boruto. And uh, with no further ado, let's get into it. This is for heaven. Um... Okay, so our little John today is named Target. That's the name of the chapter. Uh, Sasuke on the front panel, the uh, main character of the previous one, I would say. And we're going to get straight into the training. Okay. So, general predictions here. If we're going to go straight into the training, I'm going to assume we're going to see how the uh, Divine Tailed Beast uh, kind of came through and wrecked shop. Because it had to for Sasuke to be trapped somewhere where only Kaj and Koji and, and uh, Boruto hold up at. So, I'm assuming that they just pulled up and Sasuke saved Boruto from in capture by the, the Juby beast by sacrificing himself. But we'll see. So I think he's using a just dummy sword. But it may be the one Sasuke... Nope, it's just a dummy sword. I was going to say, it may be the one Sasuke provided, but that's Sasuke's sword. So it might just be a dummy one. Oh man, Sasuke. <laughs> you think about my Chia style, I fully mastered it. I've taught you almost all the moves and methods I know. One little interesting thing is um, Boruto's right eye is put out and Sasuke's left eye is pulled out. So basically, if they were going like into hand-to-hand -hand combat, their eyes, like in terms of line of vision, would match up when Sasuke's being on the right and Naruto's, or Boruto's being on the left. I still get that messed up sometimes, Boruto and Naruto's name. Have we ever seen Sasuke's uh, eye scar from when uh, Momoshiki put it out? We've seen Boruto's, but... Does this fake us like it's joking? <laughs> I've never heard you crack a joke. You've got talent and you're a quick learner, what they call a genius. All the theoretical stuff's in your head already, you know, and I have nothing left to teach you. That's that's real because Sasuke was pretty much the prodigy that we were told about in OG Naruto and most of uh, Shippuden. Him and, you know, Neji, who kind of, obviously, uh, it's kind of like the Paul Walker, uh, Dominic Toretto uh, meme where Paul's going this way. That, that was kind of Sasuke and Neji after the getting arc, uh, the shooting arc, I should say. Hone and mind your moves. But what you make of my teachings will be up to you in the end. You're a lot like Naruto. I think Sasuke's starting to buy into the um, the omnipotence being a, a sham. A sham god. Something is going on. Something that only you and Sarada can deal with. That's what my gut is telling me. And that's why I mentored you. Sasuke's intuition even without the Rinnegan is still OP. It's interesting because... Um, his Rinnegan would have seen through an omnipotence, I believe. I think anything with Rinnegan can see through it. I think. 
he was he was the only Renegon user left on the planet outside of the tail beast. So he's the only one that we would know to kind of have that frame of reference with. Uchiha, you how dare you take my eye? Uh, what are you doing, Boruto? Hurry up and run. So that's how he lost his eye. I thought Boruto pulled his eye out. How can you say that, Master? I want to abandon you. So yeah, they did just pull up on him. Okay. So him and Code, or them and Code pulled up on him. Okay. At the present. So I guess he pretty much assumes that Boruto will surpass him. Survive at all costs and build on the skills I hammered into you. Then there won't be anyone who will be able to, to stop you. Watch over Saradoff for me, Boruto. Damn. Is he going to use Kieran? Okay. So he took out pretty much all of them, but they, I guess one just snuck him and bit him at the end. Damn, Sasuke. Damn, Sasuke. So Sasuke against the many-tailed beast and Code put up a pretty good fight. And this is Sasuke with no Rinnegan, by the way. Sasuke with just Eternal Mongekyo. Put up a pretty decent fight against the... It killed all the Tail Beasts, it looks like, except the one that bit him. And then competed against Code, it feels like. Old man Sasuke. Ugh. I like the long hair for uh, Baruto. It kind of really distanced him from, uh, you know, being just a Naruto clone. They're trying to do their best they can to, like, really make him stand out in a different way. And we kind of always figure, like, is going to go a different direction than Sasuke and Boruto's going to go a different direction than Naruto. Um, and we kind of have to where Boruto is slowly, like, more Sasuke-esque. God, I really do like that he got his sword, too. That's pretty cool. I think it's Kenjutsu. I've, I've done this before, but anyway, the sword style in this series, you know, you really got to like it. Something different, you know. Let's see here. Um, make sure we're still recording. I guess he's going back into Konoha. Are all of you okay? That was, uh, was that Konohamaru's fella? Moega, yeah. It, it, that was part of their, their three-person cell was the dude who had, I think, the snot coming out all the time. Konohamaru and Moegi. Damn. Oh, so that's who that was. Okay. And that more or less gives... I imagine it works pretty much like uh, Sage of Six Paths uh, or the Pain move. I forgot what the name of that is called, but Pain Sage of Six Paths where he can like see through every, you know, vessel. And I'm more or less saying that these are vessels, I guess. The Ina Shikacho children, Sarutobi Konohamaru. We may be one unit, biologically speaking, but monstery. Those emotions you are feeling seem to be yours alone. So, her name is... I guess they give each other different names? I guess we'll see what, what they call Sasuke's. In which we each possess independent consciousness. I'm like to declare to you right now. Are you, are we going to get a new, uh, a new Kara or Akatsuki? It's an instinctual desire. That's why it seems significant. I'm thinking of devouring Uzumaki Naruto. Oof. Naruto. Correct. We are already divine tree and are de evolving differently. So they're treating Naruto like Goku out here, bro. It's just no matter what's happening to Goku, bro, niggas want to pull up on him. Like 17 and 18. And 16, I guess. They pull him on Goku regardless. He could be dead. It doesn't matter, bro. Bend your ear to your inner voice. Do so in due time. It should come to you. Your personal target. So who is he? So I, Okay, so let's just assume that everybody has a target. Okay, there we go. So we're, we're going over here right now. 
So Moegi's person is Konohamaru, who's emotionally attached. And Jura, that's, that's this guy, I guess. Jura is, he has markings, like Sage says, past marking on his, um, his stomach. He has to be somebody that's an attachment to Naruto, but I don't know who he is. Could it be Nagato? Could, uh, by the way, look at so pretty much the robe and the like the black parts of their fits are part of like the the markings, the code markings. But look how he stylized it to where like this is still like a beast. Like he has like the little slippers. Like, look at his feet. Look at his feet, bro. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of his feet. Kishimoto's doing in his bag. I don't I don't think he does like most illustration at this point, but I think it's Ikimoto. I think it's what it always says at the beginning of these, but he's in his bag a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Look at his feet. That's crazy. I didn't even like think about it. like I've I've seen it, I kind of like absorbed it into my brain and realized it, but like I never thought to myself like how deep they went into the design uh, with the whole code markings. So that's the main mystery right now. It's like who is Jorah? We still have like half a, a chapter to go, but we pretty much know based on this, like Jura has to be somebody related to him. So they just sits past mark on his stomach. I'm going to go. It has to be somebody alive and it's not Jiraiya because we have Kaj and Koji. It's not Sasuke because we have Sasuke already trapped. Um... Mm, I don't know. It can't be like Madara or Hashirama or anybody like that. I don't know. That's interesting. I'll have to think on that one. I don't even know who to predict. Like I don't know who, who it could be. I don't know who's missing in Konoha. Sasuke's probably going to eat Baruto or some shit, probably. I, don't, I mean, Sarada, maybe. Probably Sarada. What you ought to do is what's important. Your instinct will reveal what to you who your target is. And that, Hidari. So that's Sasuke's name is Hidari. Okay. The chakra of the people who were devoured and turned into trees by the claw grind created these dudes. Can he sense omnipotence? Wait, is Buck pulling up? Oh shit. Buck could see through omnipotence. Okay, so we do know Rinnegan, or at least the tail beasts, have some ability to override omnipotence. Which is kind of a question I just posed a little while ago. Maybe not override it, because I mean the the flipping of Naruto or Baruto and Kawaki does not seem to apply. So we can probably insinuate that omnipotence doesn't work, but her ocular ability allows her to like scan people can be flipped by the clogger arms. Okay. He's in her realm. Holy shit. Okay. She dropped her drink. Damn. I just fuck. Let's go. Okay, so Sasuke did pick Sarada. Okay. So is that Minato? Like, is this person? No, it can't. Minato is dead. Minato has been dead for years and years and decades. Who the fuck would... I don't know who would pick Naruto. Is this just that that nobody that got ate? No, no, no. I was thinking it's that nobody that got ate eaten up in like chapter two or whatever, chapter one. But they wouldn't like have Naruto reserved for somebody that's that much of a nobody. Whoever that is has to be somebody that's like a massive character. And we've seen everybody's identity now except him. So he has to be like huge former uh character you know, main Naruto universe type dude. I don't know who it is, though. We'll just have to see. We'll have to see. And Sasuke picks Arda, as you would imagine. Okay. That that was kind of easy guess. I ate it. That could be data to Kawaki's reconstructed karma. All Kawaki has to do is implant karma into a new clone body that all prepare. That should be enough to revive Ekebi. Was Ekebi the... No, that was Delta. Who's Ekebi? I don't know who that was. Okay, I'll have to look at him after this. It wouldn't be problematic for you if Barto were killed. You wanted him back for your daughter, right? Oh, that was his daughter? Okay, or, or... 
I sprung Boruto out of Kara's clutches with Kashi and Koji's help to take Ishiki down. That was Kawaki. So it, he he's under the uh, influences of, you know, omnipotence. After Ishiki's death, I embedded my daughter's data when I reconstructed Boruto's dispelled karma because karmic resurrection is the only way to restore human soul exactly as it was. Is he like seeing through Sinrigan himself? Like, even though he's clearly under the, at least he appears to be clearly under the cause of events that were flipped because of Ida's Sinrigan, he appears to have like just used like logic and deductive reasoning to like flip those events to the way they should be going. But let's just read this. So after Ishiki's death, I embedded my daughters when I reconstructed Baruto's karma to, you know, re revive his daughter, whatever. Which is why I need Baruto alive. That's what you're getting at, right? Okay. So basically, she does not have omnipotence uh, applying against her. Baruto is actually a real karma. He has a o Otsutsuki still in him. Kawaki is the fake one, right? In, in reality. So let's read through this. In regards to Kawaki, who also has a karma, his body is a scientific ninja tool, and yet no one seems to know who modified him or when, despite him being the Hokage's son. We saw with uh, Mitsuki that there was a logical like fallacy that omnipotence couldn't cover. And um, I think he had a quote like, you are my moon, right, Kawaki? Which that's what Boruto's role was for Mitsuki. The way that events played out, it didn't make sense to him, like the role that that dude played. And then also with um with Himawari, the coldness and callousness of Kawaki does not fit her depiction of what Baruto is. So there's like a moment where it's just like a little gap where she like doubted, I think, what she was thinking. This appears to be yet another gap in omnipotence is kind of like coverage. But the truth is, it's clear that I'm the one who made these modifications. Why? How do you know such a thing? It's like how an artist leaves their mark on a piece they create. It's the same with his karma. I can tell instantly if one, if it's one I reconstructed or not. For some reason, the special karma containing Akabi's data is on Kawaki's film or palm film. These phenomena completely contradict my memory, but in light of this physical evidence, I must conclude that at least part of my memory has been altered. That's the only explanation, not to mention that there are theories that, that memories are no more than ambiguous figments of thought. As a scientist, there is no proof stronger than physical evidence. I don't know who did the tampering, but I can say this much. My only priority is the karma containing Akabi, and it isn't Boruto who possesses it. It's Kawaki. So... Basically using, so, okay, so omnipotence only misconstrues memories, right? Like, it doesn't affect emotions. Well, it does because people rely on memories and what they think of things to convey their emotions. But with uh, our boy here being such a logical and calculated person and him having physical like tags almost of what things were how they actually work that is what is telling him that simply put the memories he has are not what actually happened he essentially explained his memories and then he explained what the actual logic would be it completely ignoring his memories and being logical and factual so omnipotence i think is going to walk in, work in such a way where I don't know how somebody's going to break it apart unless Ida, Ida doesn't even want to dispel it. Like, she doesn't know how to use that move in a way to where she can turn it off and on. But I, I have a feeling that someone's going to just dispel it by kind of needling into the holes it has and just blowing it up from the inside. That's my guess. I don't know what else could do it other than, like, the tail beast maybe being able to disable it. They clearly have the ability to operate within the realm of the Senjutsu and flip it on Ida, so maybe they'll break it apart, but we'll just see. Alright. Um, so they've been scanning him, watching him, as you would imagine. Um, and they had, they could hear what he was saying as well. Okay. Did she get him to say that so that they could 
potentially like flip Shikamaru. I wonder if she tried to draw that out of him. She seems to be very surprised that he was able to like deduce what actually happened. But some part of me thinks she did that intentionally just so she could maybe get some buy-in from Shikamaru. You know, Sarada has been pitching this to them, but they don't believe Sarada. So maybe, 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 maybe they're a little bit smarter than I give them credit for. I don't know. Shikamaru was thinking. He's comparable in intelligence to uh to old buddy. I forget his name, but the, the problem is that Shikamaru is uh has at least been more emotional about the events that have occurred. So his his like ability to think may have been compromised by being emotional about Naruto's death and Baruto deflecting and all that stuff. Or defecting, not deflecting, defecting. Despite Amado, yeah, Amado, uh, despite being affected by omnipotence, Mr. Amado is aware that his memory has been rewritten based on physical evidence. Boom, 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 boom. That's what I was saying. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't affect, doesn't affect physical um, evidence. There you go. That's because they believe their memories over any physical evidence. Boom. I think Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait this is the last time they, they looked at each other before he saved uh, Boruto my bad old man Sasuke or rather master Sasuke believes in me I think that's a real Boruto <laughs> Sarada while still doubting his memory he risked his life to save mine my nigga Boruto my nigga I love how Sasuke or Sarada looks in this uh, panel I gotta that might be the thumbnail actually I, I think I'm starting to come around to Sarada she kind of just seemed like a Got like a mini soccer with some Naruto esque tendencies in the first part, but I'm, I'm gonna start to fuck with Sarada pretty heavy. Damn, a little small for my nigga Baruto. Yo, dude, we got crazy thumbnail potential here, dude. I, I love this. Crazy thumbnail potential. This is a spoiler. I won't do this because it's a spoiler, but this would be like the thumbnail if it wasn't a spoiler. But we'll let it rock. You don't want to like like people are gonna be like, oh well, how is Boruto and Sarada to get back? I don't want to spoil anybody. You know, I'm just gonna to move past it. But yeah, I'm fucking with this heavy. Shout out my nigga Boruto and Sarada. Yeah, he looks so much like Naruto Pro. It's crazy, man. You're a late, stupid Boruto. I'm home now. I don't want to clap. I don't want to like make the sound go crazy, but you know, golf clap it, bro. Oh my god, dude, that's hard. That's a Kishimoto's in his bag right now, bro. Kishimoto is has been in rare form for a minute, dude. He's having like a 2005 Kobe stretch right now, bro. Kishimoto is going crazy, man. He's writing some of his best shit he's ever written in terms of dialogue, character relations. It, it's some of his best stuff he's ever written, bro. I've followed Naruto. From a kid on, bro. I haven't read all of it in manga form. Some of it just been anime. Some of it's been just video game content that he might have contributed on, he might not have. But this is some of the best stuff that he's put into the universe ever, really. I, I, I really mean that. I don't gas up Baruto because uh, one reason or another. I don't downplay Nar from a comparable Baruto. Baruto has some very loud flaws in terms of his structure. Let's just say that. But since Kishimoto's taking over, bro, just gone, man. You late, stupid bar too. Damn. Now I will say, now we're, we're closing here. I'm gonna say a few things. I think we'll see more about what came out of Sasuke's training with Baruto. Like I don't think it's gonna be the only flashback we get to that just sequence of events. Because even with Naruto and Jiraiya, we didn't get all of the Naruto and Jiraiya like content. In the big, very beginning of Shippuden. Like some of it came after Naruto went four tails. And like almost wrecked um, Orochimaru. Got himself put in the hospital. And Jiraiya showed up his, um, his scar from facing uh, our boy uh, Naruto. So I don't think off is going to be at the very beginning. But that was obviously a lot of content they kind of dropped there. In terms of what they went over. How Sasuke viewed Baruto. Um, what happened when Sasuke tried to fight Cold. Like. 
There's going to be maybe some very scant flashbacks after this. So as scant, S-C-A-N-T. Not anything else you might have been thinking about. Um, that's about it. I really got nothing else to talk about at this point. I was like, that, that was a very um, good chapter. Um, had some real exposition there. Um, just some wonderful dialogue, honestly. And uh, progressed the, the mystery of omnipotence and the Claw Grimes organization. We'll just call them the Divine Tail of the Beast, I guess. Um, it progressed those, those two mysteries or or narratives you know in a, in a pretty good manner so I, I have no problem with anything so far in five chapters i mean it's been just about flawless i would say you know i, I can't have any problems with this and i'm very interested to see who um was it jira was that his name i think jira is like a, a program application uh let me see here he said jura jura okay jura so yeah jura I was hoping that like there's similarities between the names because like Moegi's name was Mit Midari Matsuri Mit Matsuri and Hidari was Sasuke, which obviously um, Hidari is not very similar to Sasuke at all. So I don't know what Bug's name is yet, and we don't know what Jura's real person is yet. So we'll see if there's any similarities between Jura and who he actually is, but. Doesn't really resemble anybody I can think of, yeah, but he does have. Uh, Tejas says, "Is it Obito?" No. It can't be Obito. No. 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 No way. No way. I'm gonna end there. I'm gonna think, think about it for a while. Is it Obito? There's no way they'd have Obito be like the centerpiece of yet another massive mystery spanning a, a Boruto Naruto. Of, like franchise what what they know no not 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 obito